Hi guys, I'm Sarah. And I'm Christine. And we're the co-founders of Glow Recipe. One ingredient that tends to get a bad rap in general is alcohol. However, it's important to note that not all alcohol is made equally, at least when it comes to skincare. There are good and there are bad alcohols. And there are really good ones. Cheers! Today, we wanted to talk about the different types of alcohols you might find in your skincare products. Which ones are good for you and which ones you should probably avoid. To begin, let's talk about the alcohols that are known to irritate skin. Drying alcohol. These dry out the surface of your skin and can damage your skin's protective barrier. You'll see this listed on the ingredient labels as denatured alcohol. Or ST alcohol, ethanol, and isopropyl alcohol. Drying alcohols are appealing to those with oily skin because of the way they evaporate and dry up on the skin's surface. But as we all know, natural oil is essential for maintaining healthy, balanced skin. Applying these to dry up oil can actually have an adverse effect and cause your skin to overproduce oil instead. Your skin barrier is strengthened by the lipids or fatty acids that hold your skin cells together. When those bonds are damaged, that's when your skin becomes prone to damage and inflammation. You'll want to stay away from these drying alcohols, but as we said earlier, not all alcohols are bad for the skin. So let's get into which types of alcohols are actually beneficial. Fatty alcohols are known to be beneficial for skin, especially if it's prone to dryness. Here are a few of the most common kinds of fatty alcohol you may come across. Cetyl alcohol, a product thickener. Steryl alcohol, which is used as an emollient to trap in moisture. Cetyl alcohol, which is an emulsifier. And propylene glycol, a humectant that attracts water into the skin. These alcohols are often derived from natural ingredients that are rich in fatty acids like coconuts and nuts. These sources are naturally rich in healthy fats which can be incredibly nourishing and actually boost your skin barrier. It's important to note that small amounts of alcohol can serve a purpose in the formulation of skincare products, whether it has to do with the application, absorption rate, or texture. In those cases, you'll likely find it listed towards the end of the ingredient list. Our Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask actually has alcohols. It's second to last in the ingredient list, and we used it for this specific purpose, for faster absorption, and also to make sure that the formula is pillow-proof. In the US, ingredients in skincare products are listed in the order from highest to lowest quantity. If a drying alcohol appears early in any list of ingredients, it's more likely to have a high enough concentration to cause irritation. It may also be a very small part of a formula that's made with mostly soothing and beneficial ingredients, in which case a small amount of alcohol won't be drying or harmful to your skin because of the balanced mix. It's all about the blend. It's important to us that even the most sensitive of skin types will be able to use this formula and achieve amazing results. We went to great lengths to make sure that none of the components would be sensitizing or irritating, and we think the efficacy of the product and its amazing reviews speak for itself. And again, not all alcohols are bad for you, so you want to make sure you have this handy list with you when checking out all the ingredient lists out there. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about the way different alcohols affect your skin, leave them in the comments below and our team will answer them. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Get your glow on!